Turning now to your community focus, from the 95 Viaduct to the Washington Bridge and beyond, there are a lot of major construction projects happening on Rhode Island highways. Here to talk about those and more, the director of Rhode Island Department of Transportation, Peter Alvidi. Director, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me, Kim. So before we dive into those projects, I, I wanted to talk about something with you, uh, a story that my colleague Tali Taylor has been working on extensively, a cemetery that's under Route 37. I know this was before your time, but if the Rhode Island DOT was aware of this cemetery underneath the highway, do you think more should have been done to denote that the graves were there, make sure there was the proper signage? I think, uh, as a matter of fact, as I looked back, at how all of this happened and, and what happened, um, a few things became clear. There, there was considerable coverage of this, you know, during the 70s, so a lot of media coverage. And so everyone pretty much knew historically that uh, this cemetery existed. Um, and I think at one point in the mid 70s or the early 70s, there was a legislation proposed to create some kind of monument or uh, memorial there. Uh, I don't think the legislation got approved, so it never went forward. So, so maybe something uh, to, to look into uh, for lawmakers in the future. Uh, my other question about this, um, is there any impact to nearby cemeteries that could be the result of plans to expand Route 37? No. Um, since uh, in 1961, 37 was built. Um, besides the cemetery that uh, we're talking about being unmarked at the time, so nobody had any record of it. At, at that time, there were no um, historical preservation laws in place that have since been implemented by Congress that require us at DOT to do pretty extensive research an archaeological analysis before we go forward with any kind of highway improvements and uh, even just regular routine bridge uh, kind of replacements. So there are controls in place now that prevent this kind of unfortunate circumstance from ever happening again. And since 1960, when 37 was built and the law went in place, we have not had any reoccurrence of this kind of uh, problem. Uh, shifting gears a little bit, a recent project that the DOT broke ground on is the $78 million Washington Bridge project. Can you tell us how long this is going to take and what will be different when it's done? Yeah, it's, it's quite an extensive project. It's a $78 million project that's funded in part by a $25 million uh, grant that we got from the federal government. Um, and basically, it's a reconstruction of a deficient bridge. You can see from the pictures that you're showing, uh, that this bridge is in pretty rough shape. It's, it, it's structurally deficient in terms of its classification, and it needs to be rebuilt. <clears throat> but the federal grant allows us to do a bit more than just rebuild it. It's going to allow us to um, redesign the, the geometry of the bridge so that um, the congestion that happens on a daily basis that backs up sometimes all the way to the state line will nearly be eliminated. And speaking of bridges, uh, something else I wanted to check in on before we let you go, Roadworks, the 10-year plan launched in 2015 to get Rhode Island's bridges to 90% structurally sufficient. As it stands right now, yeah. are we going to hit that goal on time? We are. We are right on the mark, Kim, to make uh, our reduction. You know, we had about 27% of our bridges were structurally deficient uh, seven years ago when we started Roadworks. And as we sit here now, we're right on a path. We're about 16, 17%, but we're right on a, on a glide path that will put us at 10% or less structurally deficient in 10-year periods since the beginning of roadworks. And it's, it's working great. We've pumped about $2.6 billion worth of um, money into the Rhode Island economy. We have about 224 projects of which there were 335 bridges that are either started or have been completed. And we started up our truck tolling system, which is very much a success. It uh, is meeting all of the metrics, all of the marks that we originally, it's, every one of the locations is collecting exactly what we predicted it would collect. So 
the Roadworks Initiative um, has been very successful for us. That's all the time we have for today. Rhode Island DOT Director Peter Alviti, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for this opportunity to bring everybody up to date, Kim.